I'm Bruce Ewing, and welcome to the Solar Heat Exchange Manufacturing Demonstration Video. Today, we're going to show you how simple and easy it is to install the simple drain back system solar hot water heater. Let's get started. The first step in installing the solar heat exchange simple drain back system is the emplacement of the solar panels. The solar panels are carried onto the roof by two individuals and then placed in an area where they will receive direct sunlight for a majority of the time throughout the year. They should be angled more south and east depending on where in the country they are being installed. The brackets are secured with bolts through the roof studs so as to correctly fasten the panels in place. The panels are then linked together by soldering the connecting pipe to allow water to travel through both panels. Two additional holes are made in the roof to allow the water to travel up to and away from the panels. At this point we've installed both the panels. A uh, couple critical issues here is one, we've lagged these into the joists down below and siliconed under the feet so there's no way they can leak. The next thing is on a drain back system it's very very important that everything is built on a quarter inch to the foot slope so that when the water is pumped up and the system shuts off everything drains down. The piping is typically run through the roof into the attic first. Special care should be given to any soldering done in the attic due to fire hazard. The piping then runs down through the house and finally into the basement where it is connected to the solar hot water heater. The simple drain back system solar hot water heater has been designed so as to make installation as easy as possible. Connection sites for both hot and cold water are clearly labeled to aid in proper connection. After these connections have been made, the water pump is then installed. There are two types of pumps available for the simple drain back system. Each one is specific to the height that the water must travel in order to circulate through the solar panels. After the pump is connected to the solar hot water heater, its solar water reservoir is then filled so as to travel to the solar panels to be heated. This is the Shem32 controller. It is pre-wired, pre-programmed for the simple drain back system. Uh, it is passcode protected so that uh, nobody can get into the system after you've hooked up the system and uh, should have no problems for the lifetime of the system. The controller is mounted on the side of the simple drain back system solar hot water heater and is plugged into a regular household outlet. The pump is plugged into the controller in that it only receives power when provided by the controller. The sensor running from the solar panel is now easily attached to the controller with a screwdriver. The controller is now turned on and ready to go in that its factory settings are suitable for most homes. Accessing the menu within the controller allows the owner to make adjustments dealing with heat levels. The controller is now mainly used to monitor the temperature of the solar panel and the water as well as to automatically tell the pump when to move the solar water either into or away from the solar panels. The system is then connected to the domestic water supply allowing it to fill the simple drain back system so that the water can be heated. A system such as this can easily be installed by a crew of two or three in about eight hours. The simple drain back system, easy and efficient, good for the environment and your pocketbook.